then was at No Fear, did a lot of stuff there, actually put together a, a manufacturer deal and, and started making some serious money. I mean, we went for, I went from making like 50 grand a year to $45,000 a month. Have you heard how, how Jason's doing? Like, is he, is he doing, doing good? Yeah, you there see? you go. <laughs> That's so sick. I got flamed online for reading a DM from from J Law saying that uh, he I, was coming I knew back it, to. I knew it was going. That's to ride I knew it was a gas going. gas armor energy. Um, you were putting together a deal. How close was was that from from happening? What was the what what actually happened there? Because I I never I never chase it up. And right now, like, dude, Jet Lawrence is the David Beckham of motocross. You know, like Myrtle, Myrtle has a golden goose right there. And, you know, like if, if there's not that, if we're not seeing like a Jeremy McGrath 2.0 coming in the next like couple of years with, with Jet and, you know, what Myrtle's got to work with, like, I actually don't think that there's ever been a canvas to paint on the way that you know you could paint on jet lawrence right now again you know you look at all of the things that you know even jeremy i mean jeremy and i've had this conversation as well and you know he had a great uh, another person involved with him was cheryl lynch you know she was his publicist and you know, she was the one that would, you know, get him uh, do a, get him a lot of the outside exposure that, you know, I would say a lot of that maybe has become the interest in doing that of even the riders. I mean, I even asked yeah, Jeremy yeah. that even just recently, like, Jeremy, is there times where you did? He's like, dude, there's most of the time I didn't want to do that stuff. I didn't want to For deal sure. with it. But, but I also, though, realized that maybe not realize it as much at the moment as I do realize it today, Jeremy McGrath is still a household name. Jeremy McGrath, 100%. if you tell anybody, if you say, hey, you know, motocross, oh, I mean, motor, supercross, motocross, they're like, oh, what? And, and you say, and you tell them, um, you know, uh, if you say to them that it is, you know, Jeremy McGrath, oh yeah, of course I know who Jeremy McGrath is. And yeah. I think that, you know, there was a lot of things that were involved to get Jeremy outside of this little niche community that were people like Cheryl Lynch and, you know, then other opportunities that came around because he did this one that then led to that one. And again, I know that, you know, people around these guys, you know, whether it's Steve, you know, Asfin with, um, you know, he's got, uh, what he has Sexton and he has Ken, um, you know, and Adam. then you have, Adam, sorry, Adam, Ken, Sexton. Yeah, you know, you have, and I know Steve, Steve knows the deal. And then the same over with, you know, uh, with, with Lucas over at WMG. I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not, again, I'm not involved with those guys uh, on a daily. I don't know what they're pursuing. I'm sure they're swinging the bat. I just don't know why no one's necessarily bringing some of that outside of this small community. I mean, think about it. Remember Jay Leno, you know, you had Jeremy and Travis, you know, on there, you know, racing outside and you had, so I would also say that, you know, it's probably guys like Denny Hartwig over at, you know, at the time it was, you know, Live Nation. Um, and the, I can't necessarily say who the players were that made all of those outside opportunities come to reality. Um, I know some of the instances is that, you know, Cheryl Lynch did do a lot of those for Jeremy, but I would say that some of those things is what opens then the eyes to a broader uh, sponsor opportunity that yeah. if it's not just being sold to this, this same community that we all know. So I think that's, and that's what, you know, Jeremy, like I said, I got responses from almost all of the 100 decks that we sent out. It wasn't like, I mean, if, if I was at the desk at spy and I wasn't interested in some, I didn't necessarily, we didn't necessarily respond to them, but they all responded and were like, you know, wow, we appreciate the, the you know, the, the, the presentation, the opportunity, you know, we'll give it some thought. So it wasn't just a, you know, hard no. And, um, you know, again, I don't know what those guys are pursuing and, you know, how many warm leads, potential leads that are coming up, you know, interest, no interest, or even if they're actually swinging at those at all. I'd assume they are, but I don't really know. I don't know the, the answer. So, but yeah. And, and I think, um, oh, sorry, go ahead. 
No, I was just going to say, but I would say that I think that, you know, I know when, you know, even Ford was another property that we were pursuing and, um, uh, I'm drawing a blank on the gentleman's name, but he was at Ford for a super long, Sam Scott, Sam Scott, you know, I was up at, up at, um, um, the NASCAR event at Fontana when I was pursuing them as a title sponsor for Jeremy. I mean, they all knew who Jeremy McGrath was. They all had interest, you know, and even to this day, I run into, I ran into a woman that, you know, was at Hot Wheels and Jeremy McGrath and, you know, all of those things. I, 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 I guess that, you know, Jeremy, you have to give Jeremy McGrath a lot of credit for who he was as a personality as well. And that, you know, all of that also equaled a lot of interest from the outside because, because he was Jeremy showtime. He's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And I, and I think that that's sort of the next point I guess I wanted to make is that you have to have a rider and an athlete that's willing to put the sport on their back in that sense, you know, because to play the other side of the court for jet it's like okay well i'm making 100 grand every time i win from honda and then i'm getting you know a little bit of prize money and then i got my alps deal and then i got this deal you know so it's like i'm not i ain't struggling for cash and it's like do i really want to put myself out there in that way do i want to go to all of these extracurriculars like is that going to take away from the racing is the was it just that jeremy was so much better than those guys that he could afford to go out and you know do the press and do the you know appearances and it, it's it must just take a special athlete to want to put the sport on their back to want to be the face for a sport and to you know want to kind of push it forward and i i look at james like man what james could have been for the sport james james was still obviously incredible for the sport but you know you got this young black kid in a all white sport that came in and was he rewrote the rule book on physics it seemed like you know and and had the mtv show and he had but it seemed like all of that kind of turned him the other way in a sense it's like maybe he just wasn't the right guy to put the sport on his back and to kind of push it to that next level maybe it just wasn't in him to you know want that side of of life maybe the way that jeremy kind of did i'm not sure you can also maybe look at it and say maybe it was ricky carmichael's fault because ricky stepped up the game on the training and the fitness and how serious you had to be and it's like you know so i mean you, you could maybe maybe say that as well but you know i know that jeremy i mean like i said we we have talked about that and he did say that yeah it was definitely a drain on you know did you want to do it but i could tell you that i mean to this day I, I he would say that he's grateful that he did because you know those are the things that still make him uh you know relevant i mean he's still to this day you know has amazing deals with all of his sponsors and you know yeah, yeah. Has, i mean keeps himself in the in the in the light of the sport you know even with the science of supercross and he still does certain races that keeps him relevant to the racing community and you know Jeremy does all of this and lives the lifestyle uh, every day and 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 it's provided him the ability to do so. All those extra things that he did, I think really did make a difference. Now, it doesn't hurt that he won seven supercross titles and you know, I mean all of that ultimately puts him above everybody else as well, but it was all that extra stuff that he did that I really think is what the outside world I mean, you know, I was on a call last week with the gentleman in, in the supplement space and he's not even a big moto guy. And even he says, everybody knows who Jeremy McGrath is, you know, it's yeah, like hundred percent. So, you know, that, that to me is whether or not you really want to do that stuff right now, it's going to continue to pay you huge dev- dividends once you're done. And I think that's where, you know, Jeremy's not sitting here with me, um, but I know he would probably say the same, that he's grateful that he did all those things. And he, and he, we've talked about this and he has said to me that he is. So, yeah. So. Yeah. And I, I think um, one of the other things though, that may make all of this point kind of mute in a sense, like when we talk about Jet Lawrence is he's actually the first guy that has started his own brand in a sense. And that, that like has real appeal 
I mean, you talk about Jets and Donuts, and that's a... He's just got to be the face of this brand. You set up a model, and then you franchise that model all over the US. And it's like, you even get a, a small percentage of that market, the Dunkin' Donuts, the Starbucks, the, you know, the that lane. And I mean, that is the kind of thing that could make him just a fuck ton of money over over his his life as well so i mean even even is there some sense now and like okay instead of working for other people's brands like i'm gonna really get a team behind myself and make my own brand that's not in moto that's got nothing to do with this industry and you know jets and donuts is something that can pay him forever you know those are definitely things that you want to strive towards as you're having those successes because you know especially in a sport where you know most of the guys do retire uh, you know i mean (laughs) as early as late 20s to early 30s and okay so then what are you going to do after that and you know it would be uh, very rewarding to set something up so that once you are done that you are a part of that it is yours or that you're involved in in some capacity so I think that, you know, and I know, you know, Jeremy, uh, you know, did do that with, you know, I mean, Jeremy was a big part. He was one of the original investors in Spy, um, you know, and has continued to be a part of Spy to this day. Um, Yeah, it did go through a sale, but look, he's still, he's still a part of that brand. I think that was, you know, his idea was doing those types of things. And, you know, but it did come with, there were moto involved. No fear gear was Jeremy yeah. was a part of that and part owner of that. Um, but I think that venturing out of this space to be a part of something that you have equity ownership in, like, you know, jet is doing, I think it's great. You know, it's a, definitely a step outside and then also can be something as if as that grows and it grows outside of just this community it's a great opportunity for that project to take his name outside of this sport and start to tell this story in other places as well the moto supercross jet jet lawrence jetson donut story and uh you know those those were things that were also i mean people that let's say we're involved in monster that did either buy stock um, that still to this day have stock as athletes um, because they, you know, they saw what was going on and the stock's growing. And I know there's a lot of people to this day that will say to me is, you know, you told me to buy it, but you didn't tell me not to sell it. I'm like, well, I don't, it's not, you know, that's it's not, not like I have yet. it. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's not like I have a line and a, and a, and a, and a, you know, definitive answer to what you should do, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it is it is something that a lot of people I do know in the moto community did buy stock and or watched it and paid attention to it. Athletes that were involved in it did did that. So that was that was a, a, a fun way for people that not were just sponsored by the company, but yet could participate in the successes of something they were influencing the the, yeah, the, the yeah. growing the growing of i mean i know uh pierre luc Gag, uh, gagnon plg was a good friend of mine at the time when he was sponsored by monster and his father and him were you know stock player people and you know was definitely someone who always would you know how's it looking how are we doing you know i mean just so i mean even myself you know it's like i didn't i wasn't the founder of monster but it was nice to be able to participate whether you could participate on stock that you purchased or whether you know it was options that you had while you were there at the time and so those are fun things to um not fun those are rewarding things to be a part of is helping something grow and 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 being a part of the successes of that growing and i mean it definitely would encourage um people while they're having their success to whether it's investing in brands or investments. I mean, I know Jeremy's been very wise and made and made good choices with investments for himself. And I think that's one of the things that as you're having those successes, it's not just about um, buying all the things you want. It's about ensuring that you can continue to buy the things you want. So be wise and invest and, and uh, yeah. We're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.